I really view music in Haiti as being the most powerful motivator that's really been here. It's so powerful, in fact, it's on the flag. There's drums on the flag that it's understood by the people. It's, it's in our blood, it's in, it's in the earth, it's everywhere. That creative spirit is from your ancestors. It's from the ancestors of the people here. Whether they know it or not, they're keeping it alive with the music. As you learn more about Haiti, you start seeing how deeply rooted that is. My name is Michael Brunn. I'm a music producer and DJ from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And I love my country and want people to know that through my music. In my journey as someone who was making purely like big room progressive house music, I learned how to be a producer through the last five years and make the transition between ideas in my mind and a song a lot clearer. I always wanted to incorporate Haitian music into what I was doing. I wanted to bring a different perspective, but with a grounding in the history and a respect for the art here. After I'd done five years on tour and, and like working with other artists and getting better as a producer, doing music that had roots here, but then shifting it a bit and, and making it into something new, it just like flowed really naturally. And doing that kind of culture melding was really exciting because it's what I grew up with. I myself am from Haiti. We are always humming. I have voodoo drumming in my heart all the time, especially when I don't want to hear what somebody's saying. <laughs> I put on the volume, you know? If you go throughout Haiti, even the people at the street market who are selling soft drinks, they are banging the bottle and it's making sound. You know, the whole country explodes in sounds. So it's only natural that we have a sound school to help people make better sound. If someone does not put the teaching in front of you, something is gonna be missing in your life. So we are helping you fulfill your dream, helping you put out your talent, helping you become a better citizen of the world. Part of education is that once you have the tools, you wanna be able to act. You want to be able to use those tools and, and make an impact. Because music is such a far-reaching tool in the country, I just like want to find artists and want to find people and producers and engineers and all kinds of different like music-educated youth who want to make a difference in the country. I want to help empower them. I want to help give them access to use those tools. I didn't know of Michael Bourne until he came to this wonderful campus. He put some fundraising together for the Audio Institute, for the Artist Institute. The generosity of Michael's heart, I can't even find words to describe. Everyone, thank you so much for coming today and uh, for, for checking out the demo for the machine. And Native Instruments has sent 12 for the school that are right here, actually. Yeah. So DJ Sankwaplex, he was in the class of one of the first promotions of, of the school. when uh, So he's like graduated. And then now he was just saying that this is such an amazing opportunity for the students because now you can, you can actually teach DJing on top of just the production stuff. And a lot of these artists are, are doing all of that. They're doing the mixing engineering, but they're also producing, they're writing, and DJing is a big part of that now. So, yeah, they're hype. We got a lot of toys. <laughs> I feel that collaboration is a statement and a pillar that I want to build everything on because I had this like moment where I saw the cornet, which is like a horn that's used in the rara bands. And rara music is very energetic, it's very lively. 
but it's also organized in a very unique way. And a cornet, a horn, is an instrument that plays one note. So if you want to play a melody, you need to have all these notes, all these people playing a single horn in unison and connected and, and communicating. And really, you have to be the, the best at your craft. You have to know how to play it right, but then you have to be in tune with your brothers and your sisters around you. And that's exactly how I want my music to be. I want, I want it to be a representation of when things go right, when people really are on a level connected. It makes something that's greater than any individual part. Cardi was actually working on some stuff earlier, put an idea down with Strong G, exported the sounds. So now I just imported it into Ableton. We're gonna see what happens. Je <laughs> Je me dis musique Bamzel, c'est parce que c'est une musique qui a allé tout le monde à venir sous moi et puis qui a mis en direction. C'est une ce musique, c'est une musique Michael Bouin, ensemble avec Gadi, ensemble avec Jeperry, ensemble avec l'autre ami qui a travaillé déjà, qui a allé tout le monde sous moi. We just had this amazing studio session with a group of, of students who came on a Saturday during summer <laughs> because they're that passionate about what they're doing. We had two amazing Haitian artists come through and just like work on a track, work on a trap vibe, uh, give some feedback to the students' music as well. And I've worked with both of these guys in different ways and I thought it would be so cool to like meld the, the worlds a bit and, and create something really new. I think Michael is important for Haiti. We need this generation of, of Haitian, this new blood of, of Haitian especially now when everything is upside down. So right now we're at the entrance of Jalousie, setting up this block party, looking at like probably five, 600 people, but a free show for the community, working together with Sidi Bo, who are the Rara band for the area. Worked with them on a track called Gaia. We actually shot the video right there. <laughs> Jalousy is one of the biggest slums in the country. There are a million people on that mountain. It's really dense, it's packed with life, and to see and meet the people there, to see like how much the people there like make of their lives or what they have, it's, it's inspiring, and that to me is exactly why we want to do this here. sense of responsibility that my parents always told me I had. I had to use what I was given to give to others. And I just felt like I really needed to find some form of putting like all of my efforts into something and then it creating a better world or a better neighborhood or whatever it was for others. I 
I just see music as a way to communicate really effectively with everyone in the country. It's able to bring people together, and I think when you bring people together, you're able to, to make much bigger change than just a single person. Let me come big, let me come big.